Hey everybody, Micah from Black Bear Custom Kydex. I have a video for you today on some cool knives. Uh, and these are, uh, these are really interesting. I'm going to be doing some sheaths for these. Um, working with uh, Jacob Peterson over at Exodus Knife and Tool. You guys probably know the name from Prepper's Bunker Outdoors. As well as Beach and Tactical. This guy is enormously talented. Um, just a great guy to work with. And uh, if you guys haven't checked out, especially his Beach and Tactical uh baldrick slings and rifle slings you guys need to check that out he's the best in the business and just a super guy so um all right so he designed a knife um <clears throat> and mineral mountain hatchet works is producing it so they're making it for exodus knife and tool this thing is the adventure craft and it is a four inch handle three inch blade full flat grind 1084 high carbon steel uh, it's just a really nice little knife um even with such a thin handle, I mean, this thing is almost as small as like a string bean. You can actually still get a pretty good grip on it with uh, with large hands like mine because your pinky is able to kind of leverage that counter pressure. And if you get your thumb up there on top, uh, everything just kind of locks in. So I definitely recommend you check these out, see if this might be a knife for you. But <clears throat> he came up with a really great idea, uh, which is to to start working directly with some custom sheath makers um, so that if a customer is going to buy the knife they'd have a factory sheath option and then they'd have an array of custom sheath options um, that they might uh, decide to go with so for instance if you were to buy this knife from him and then decide that you wanted me to be your sheath builder you would actually get the knife and sheath directly from me he would send it to me send me the knife and uh, you and I would discuss the sheath options and you'd pay me and so that's that's how that works uh, As far as I know that's how the arrangement works So he's doing this with at least myself and one other custom sheath maker and uh, I'm not sure if there's still The factory. Yeah, I, I don't know exactly what the arrangement is I just know that there are multiple sheath makers for an option with I, I think that's a really cool thing um, and he's also doing it in a really smart way by going to some of the some of the sheath makers that are more likely to be your choice anyway uh, if you're in the market for a custom sheath so um, yeah so I think it's pretty cool kind of just cutting out that one step and making the, the process a little more streamlined and also providing you guys with um, just the maximum uh, package I think so all right let's talk about <clears throat> these sheets so he asked if I could make some sheets that are compatible with the SE Zula backer and the reason why we want to use this thing is because it does provide a cool little function here so let me I'm just gonna go ahead and this is one of the sheets here just to give you a look there you got a little bit of a ballistic one-handed draw kinda clicks into place there's not a lot to work with this knife as far as retention goes you can see that's a very very small contour it does have a Coke bottle uh, or hourglass shaped contour from an aerial view. So using those two things, we're able to kind of affect a good uh, ballistic draw with this, but it's a little bit difficult. So you're not going to hear a big click the same way you would with, uh, with knives that have a lot more contour there. Um, all right, real quick, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the SE backer on this. The Azula backer, rather, and show you guys what it does. So, the other, I'll give you the full disclaimer here. I'm not sure that this is necessarily the model of the sheath that we're going to be going with as like the standard option or anything. I just wanted to show it on the video because it is going to be an option. So if you <clears throat> if you order from me. You know, it's it's going to be the same as if you were just placing a regular custom sheet order with me. Um, and one thing to note that's actually really important is these are all finished by hand. So I don't, I can't use, I can't have a knife myself and, and use that to pattern off of to make the sheets because every one of these knives is hand finished. Uh, so they each have their own character, and that I think that's a great thing. They each have uh, sort of a unique quality to them. Um, 
but the bottom line is that I can't just pattern off of one to make sheets for all the others because they won't necessarily fit. I actually tried that back and forth with some of these sheets and it's just a no-go. All right, so what the Azula backer offers is some versatility in your carry setup. So you could, uh, even going through the backer, you could affix a tech lock. You could affix molly lock or molly locks. You can actually use the backer directly to connect to molly by just threading this webbing through. You can use this webbing as a belt loop. Um, in fact, I think all you have to do for that is basically just kind of pry that Velcro apart and boom, you've got a belt loop right there. It's actually really uh, sturdy, really rigid. Um, and then the other thing this offers is if you notice the height and this guy here, you can take this little elastic band and kind of stretch it up over the handle. So that just gives you one more option of uh, retention. It's not necessary because you do get, um, you know, kydex retention with all of these sheets. You're getting a good, you know, click retention. You might not necessarily hear the click, but you do have a good retention with it. It's not going to rattle. It's not going to fall out on you, nothing like that. Um, but that strap does add that little extra assurance. So whenever you do need your knife, you can kind of break it out and draw it out like so. So that's what the backer is there for. It's just a, uh, just something that you guys can consider if you wanted to add this to your sheath order for um, a variety of additional carry options kind of packed into one thing. Personally, uh, I think it's a pretty good option. I think it does afford you some really good things. And uh, made by SE, I always like that. SE is just quality stuff. Always made in the USA and rugged. I think they offer lifetime warranty on everything they sell. So, all right, so that's that guy. Now, <clears throat> getting into, let's see, the others that are compatible with the SE backer are all kind of looking like talk, or sorry, pancake style sheets. Now, the uh, traditionally a pancake style sheath is two pieces of kydex that are sandwiched around one knife and then you end up riveting it along both edges so you can see here I've got these seamless edges going on rivets on both sides this is a true pancake sheet um, he also asked if I might be able to make a couple sheets that are in the sort of se I don't even know what to call this thing but we're, we're just gonna go with taco pancake basically the idea is it's still got rivets on both sides, but it's actually a fold on top. So it's like a taco sheath in that it's folded, but it's like a pancake sheath in that it's got rivets going down both sides. So <clears throat> you see this in a lot of like the SE sheaths, uh, the hungless and the, uh, well, the, yeah, they've made different types of sheaths for all of their knives at some point, but some of their Kydex options, they, they oftentimes do something like this. So kind of a cool idea uh, it is a little bit stronger than a regular pancake style sheath and then of course a taco a true taco style sheath is still the strongest but this is a cool idea so I've made uh, several of these and just to give you an idea you get kind of an initial jump in a ballistic kind of sense but it, usually it, I think the weight of it and the, the shape of the knife is a little bit of an up sweep along along the back of it just a slight up sweep so it doesn't tend to actually fully shoot off the knife but obviously you're going to be drawing it away anyway it's a very good smooth comfortable draw one thing to watch out for with, with these knives is that they are so pointy they're just such a slender knife <clears throat> that if you put this in at a, at a bad angle you can actually stick the tip and it kind of snags on the way in uh, just because it's kind of trying to wedge between the two layers of kydex top or bottom so try to put it in relatively straight and it'll guide itself um, all right so there's that this is this is uh, fully compatible with the Azula backer um, it also is compatible with obviously tech lock molly lock let me just make sure got my details straight here yes okay so when you get one of these or or regular pancake sheath from me, it is going to be set up. Might be a little bit subtle looking, but it will be set up so that you can put a tech lock on it, horizontal, vertical, or canted 
for a comfortable cross draw. So you will have multiple angle options to work with, and that's just sort of the standard. Um, the drill hole spacing will also be compatible with some of the ulti clips. Um, my personal recommendation with those anyway is only one point of contact between the clip and the sheath, because with a rubber washer between it, if you cinch that screw down really tight, it will it's really difficult to turn, to rotate or pivot that uh, belt clip, but it'll stay in place and you do have the ability to pivot it, rotate it, whatever, without the use of any tools. So it, it makes it a lot easier. Uh, and you still, especially with a light knife like this, you'll still get the, uh, the full benefit of that particular clip, so. All right, so there we go. Just give you a really quick look at the others. Another one of that fold over. And then I did have a couple of taco sheets, so I wanted to give you guys, um, I really wanted to give him the idea, uh, Jacob that is, uh, of like the different types of sheets that a customer might get because we want to kind of narrow this down right up front, but this is the initial, um, I don't know what you want to call it, this is the first batch of them I've done, so I wanted to just... Uh, you know, represent sort of a, an array of different things. So this would be like a standard, a standard taco style sheath for me, kind of in the style that I offer. You get the classic BBCK shape. Um, you get the the funky drill hole pattern that's compatible with a tech lock at multiple angles, and uh, ulti clip at multiple angles as well. And then, like I said, taco sheaths are going to be the strongest. Uh, personally, I'm a huge fan of a taco over a pancake as far as the sheath world is concerned. I don't know about food. I like my pancakes, but, um, but yeah, you can see you get a little more individual style, I think, with the taco sheath uh, from a given maker. Pancakes are tough to, to stylize, but tacos, I think we all, uh, a lot of us have a sort of a unique flair to it. So this is this guy. Um, with the taco sheath, I was able to get a little more retention, uh, or at least the type of retention that I prefer. You can hear that. You can hear it click in. Really smooth draw. So that's this guy. And then <clears throat> if you wanted to go with something a little more uh, a little more premium, you might mix and match some colors and get it reinforced. You can see there's a good reinforcement plate on both sides of this. This is a really, really rugged sheath. Uh, for the length of it, having, you know, four layers of Kydex going through all the eyelets, um, it's just tough. So, something like this, definitely a step up. This is how I build all my sheaths for myself, not necessarily going through all of the eyelets, but... Uh, something like that, you know almost always reinforce everything uh, that I wear myself. And then, <clears throat> of course, since it's a custom order, custom sheath, you do have the option to do any of the sort of uh, super premium options that I offer, such as leather over Kydex. But for this particular one, I decided I was going to try uh, some alligator leather just to spice it up a little bit more so you get some exotic leather um, This is some pretty rugged stuff. You can see that texture as I roll it against that light there. This is real alligator hide Stuff is super rugged so with this you can see the shape is a little bit different on top um, the reason is because this stuff is so rugged that with a small particularly a small knife the thumb ramp is just too tiny and it bends back too aggressively for the size um, and the the gator leather just can't bend that you know it can't have a smooth curve or you know I don't know what I'm trying to say it'll crease if I try to fold it back on itself so um, <clears throat> I have done a couple sheets with alligator leather leather already and um, that was actually just something I had to to learn with this you can't skive it the same way you do with regular leather. Skiving means that on the on the back side of the leather, 
the side that you don't see. You can take a razor blade, they even make a special type that's like curved so you can run it along and strip off a little bit of the thickness of the leather. So you, you skive it down uh, until it's thin enough to be pliable and bend to those angles. But with alligator leather, uh, it's already really thin and uh, yeah, it just doesn't, it just doesn't, uh, you can't work it the same way. So in any event, that's what you got here. Nice alligator leather sheath, alligator leather over kydex. And again, you've got um, a little bit of a funky looking drill hole pattern. And this just works with the tech lock at several angles as well as ulti clips, combat loop, whatever you want. So, <clears throat> and of course, um, part of the perk, I think, with going with a, a custom option is that you don't have to get it set up the same way that you're seeing anything here. You can really truly do anything you want with it. The sky is the limit. Uh, we can get crazy if you want to get crazy. Um, <laughs> but so there are some options. Just think about some of these things, what you've seen here. Maybe you'd want to go with something like this, or maybe you've got something different in mind. But uh, but yeah, I can I can truly set them up just about any way you want. So anyway, guys, I apologize for the kind of longer video here, but I wanted to uh, give a shout out to Jacob over at Exodus Knife and Tool, Prepper Bunker Outdoors, and uh, Beach and Tactical. He's the same guy all three places. And uh, again, just enormously talented and a great guy. So uh, definitely check out his wares. These knives are really cool. Uh, I love his, uh, I love his slings. So definitely, uh, yeah, go check him out. So I will, uh, see what I can do about putting a link for these in the description box below. I'm not sure if, uh, I'm pretty sure they're available now, but, um, yeah, don't quote me on that. Just look down below, see if it is. If not, head over to his channels and, uh, and see what you can find there. So, all right guys, if you like these sheets, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you, if you like me throwing knives around my place, uh, if you like the channel, subscribe and, uh, appreciate you commenting down below. Give me your two cents on these and, sticking around to the very end. So stay tuned for the next one, guys. God bless.